BlueSkyBio.com is proud to present the use of the Sapien Root Remover in Extraction and Immediate Placement. Here's the pre-op, broken right lateral incisor. Can't be removed with forceps under normal conditions. Uh, this is the tool that we're going to be using to place a special pin in the root to remove it. Here are the special pins that are going to be utilized to help extract this root. First we're going to utilize a periotome to break the periodontal ligament connection. Here it's going in on the proximal aspect. We're going to rotate it and use pressure to drive it into place. It's on the mesial. Repeat that on the distal. After we've done that on distal, we're going to use a simple uh, luxator and luxate the root just slightly to, be, to begin making sure that it's just a little bit mobile. Obviously we have to remove the pin that's inside the root canal. We're just using a pin remover and rotating it out. We're going to then utilize, uh, we're going to then measure and see which uh, special extraction screws we're going to utilize. We're going to use a two-sphere model. We're going to use a 557 burr to open up the canal, about 4 millimeters to 5 millimeters, so we can introduce the extractor pin. And then we're going to use the special tool, which puts in about 50 newton centimeters maximum, and screw down the extraction screw into the uh, root canal that we opened up a bit. It goes down all the way. After it's nice and firm, we're going to remove the driver. And then you see the two spheres that are there. It's nice and firm. This is a special metal with a silicone to protect the other roots. And this looks like a pry bar. And with just a little bit of force, just a bit, uh, we're able, then able to pull the tooth right out of the socket. Boom. Out it goes. I'm just going to remove it slowly so you can see it. And with minimal effort and no trauma to the bone and no trauma to the tissue, we're ready to go. Well, the root socket was intact, so now we're going to go ahead and use a, a pilot burr and with some copious irrigation, and the bone seems pretty soft. We'll take an extra to make sure we're in the right direction. You see a little bit of metal from a previous apicoectomy that's um, inside. We're going to then use the Blue Sky Bio 3.5 drill initially. We have some suspicion that the bone is a bit soft, and it's going to be confirmed right now. The bone seems a bit soft. We'll remove the remove the 3.5 pilot. Then I'm going to use the 4.3 final drill for the Blue Sky Bio trilobe compatible implant. It's prosthetically compatible with Nobel BioCare Replace. I'm using it at very slow uh, because the bone is quite soft. We're going to go ahead now, and we're going to place our Blue Sky Bio Trilobe compatible implant in place, prosthetically compatible with Nobel Replace. It has very aggressive apical threads so that even though the bone is soft, it will lock in nicely. You'll see soon that the handpiece will stall. Now, if you have a Nobel wrench, you can just put it on and continue driving it. Um, I don't, so I'm using a square to latch converter to use with my standard square ratchet wrench. You see I'm holding it close to the um, close to the f to the road round area because I don't want to put too much force. Even though this can take roughly 200 newton centimeters, uh, I've just taught myself to uh, do it this way, where I would generate about 40 to 60 newton centimeters. And now the cover screw, the cover screws are compatible with both an 04A driver and the Nobel Unigrip driver. It's in all the way. We'll um, put in the temporary in place. And there's the x-ray of it in place, and in about four months or so, we'll be ready to receive.